37. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Kama Esha Krodha Esha Kama Esha Krodha Esha Rajoguna Samudbhava us and said that it is the desire and it is anger born of the rajoguna, the active, this, the guna, which prompts us to do activities, the rajoguna. And that nature of that, you know, these two devils, kama and krodha, desire, want, I and I want, and krodha is the only these different forms of the desire only. When you go to fulfill your desire, some obstacles, someone is now created, then that things, no desire, just convert into this anger, automatically. So that is the negative form of this desire only. If you just fulfill your desire, again and again the greed comes. So both are there. The fulfilling desire and you are getting long success always, then naturally again and again, then different type of ego doubts that ah now I can never fail, always I am being success. That problem with the Arjuna. Therefore in the beginning, you know, immediately he told all Lord Krishna, I want to see who is going to fight with me. Let me see. He was ready to fight. The Lord said, okay, I will show you. So, Lord never took the, this chariot to in front of Duryodhana. Otherwise, he st immediately started fighting because so much inside bubbling uh, that negativity and anger against the Duryodhana. The Lord took that in front of Bhishma chariot, <laughs> deliberately. <laughs> because he wanted to remove the disease which is in the heart of Arjuna. Everybody has got some soft corner with everyone. But he, when his son comes as a criminal, then he also gets deluded and his decision you know, gets biased. Because that is natural inside. We have attachment with our nears and dears and that influences our decisions always. Therefore, this disease wanted Lord Krishna to remove from before the battle starts. Why? Because in battle, battle started and in between it happened. Then what will be problem? Then it is difficult to manage. So before the disease should go away and he should be at ease and he starts performing his duty. Therefore, this is Maha Rajoguna Samud Bhava. The born out of the Rajoguna, we have seen three gunas. Whole world is made of all three gunas. Tamo Guna, Raja Guna, Sattva Guna, Mahashano. Mahashano means it's, it's Lord. That is the driver, Lord. It's this, this, the desire cannot uh, just satiate by fulfilling the desire. Therefore, I beginning I told fulfilling desire is not the goal of our life. To go beyond the desire and eradicate the cause of the desire, which is the self-ignorance, is the purpose of our life. And how to go about it? Already we have seen. Purification of mind and then entering into the knowledge, self-knowledge and getting knowledge, Sravan and Vidyasana, through that. So, Mahashano Mahapatma. Because of this, our selfishness, selfish desire, the persons, you know, are forced to just perform sinful activities. Means uh, that uh, he will go away from his spiritual goal. Mahashano, Mahapatma. And because of the desire of the Dhritarashtra, everything is happening. Hmm? If there is no, this uh, attachment, these things, then this is uh, not, not a problem with in anyone's life. Mahapatmaha. 
Videna niha verinam. O Arjuna, if you are following the righteous path and as a spiritual seeker, that is the, for him, it is the permanent, for, it is the enemy number one. Because when the desire entered in our heart, naturally we cannot see it quiet. We have to do something or the other. We cannot get sleep also properly if it is there. So the disturbance started in our mind. So the desire and anger, these two things are there which just prompt us to do the again the activities against our nature, against our values of the life. Therefore, the Lord says these two things must be understood properly and then it should be removed slowly, slowly. But it is not an easy task to immediately because this is the inherent. Where this, the vasana is there, naturally desire will appear in the mind. So that, what is the process? Process, now Lord will explain everything. But the process is that we have to substitute our desire. We cannot suppress anything. We have to substitute our desire. Negative desire, positive. If we are doing this worldly work, then we have to start slowly, slowly religious activities in our life. So substitutions takes place and sublimations takes place. Slowly, slowly we can raise and that is called work on the mind. That's called work on the mind. So, the mind is colored by all the three gunas, rajas, sattva, tamas and desire also three kinds. Desire also we put in the three categories. Some desire belongs to the rajoguna, some desire to tamoguna, some sattva gunas. So, all three gunas, how they appear in our heart with the illustrations the Lord is now explaining and how they wells, they shroud our capacity of discriminations. This is being now elucidated in the following verse number 38. <laughs> enveloped by the smoke. The three examples giving here. And second, as a mirror by the dust and as the embryo by the womb, so is that the enveloped by the anger and desire. And what is that? Name is not given. Tene the idam avratam that uh, just covered by that all these three types of these desires and anger. Now, these you can see that these three types of the desires, the first they have given example that sattvic desire. Sattvic desire means we have to do this thing, meditation, these, these also also desires because we have to go beyond the desire, whatever it may be. As Vivekananda says, this sattvic desire is the golden chain and the tamasic and rasic desire is the silver and the iron chain. But they are the chain. The chain, the work is to bind the person. So we have to go beyond all these things. So dhumena vriyate vanni. Just the fire is covered by the smoke, little just air comes and when the covered the smoke, small spring, spark you can see also and just little fire this air is there the smoke has gone away and immediately that fire just appears 
So a little uh, effort is required to remove the sattvic ego. It is very easy. But if it is the rajasic ego that you have the desire for power, position, money, and increasing the business and these things, then it is it will take little time too. Because as as if as you see that if dust is now frozen on the mirror, it won't go by air. However, the big storm comes, that won't go. For that you have to take that duster and put little just weight and you have to put efforts and rub it there. Then only you can be able to clean the mirror. That means if Rajoguni desire is there, if you have so much uh, uh, this ambition, so much uh, this in expectations and want to be this thing, that thing and this thing, then it will take little longer time than the previous one. <laughs> Sattvic desire actually immediately is removed. This. Therefore you see uh, meditation, yoga, pranayam, uh, whenever some other words come immediately we stop. <laughs> Pranayama, uh, japa, oh, okay, today you know, I have to go early morning somewhere, so I can do tomorrow. See, this is immediately that they, you get rid of that things, good things. Suppose you want to go to the party and birthday party, you will never leave. No, you will just leave other work, but you have to go there. Because that things cannot leave you immediately. And third thing is that, Yatha pleno vrata, that is the tamasic desire. Means if you want to enjoy the flesh or lust or all this, the, the lower enjoyment, that uh, lower plane of enjoyment, that is very difficult to give up. This is there. And they, when they catch you, you cannot just get rid of all these things. That is very difficult. This is. It will take long time, just like this, uh, the embryo takes nine months to come out from the womb. You cannot just, uh, any time you do, no, it is, when mature, then it comes. Therefore it is said, if the desire is very low and impulsive is there, we are enjoying, we are just in the low desire, then it will take long time, tamogun, this, all we are going to enjoy, this, that, drink, drink, lust, everything, then it is very difficult. All the three types of the desire, they just, well, our, this uh, uh, discriminative capacity. Avratam, avratam, they cover all this. And very beautiful example, illustration we can see in Ramayana. <coughs> that uh, Vivishan, Ravan and <coughs> Kumbhakara, they are representing all the three desires. Vivishan is now in first one, just as the fire covered by the smoke. Just he got this Lord Hanumana Satsang, immediately he decided to just surrender and go to meet to Lord Rama. This it didn't take much time to reach to Lord. Hmm? But Ramana, because he just having lot of desire, power, positions, image, and everything he wanted, enjoying and snatching and doing this thing. So how much time took to reach? And reach means he has to be killed by the Lord. They all three is the son, this uh, son of the one father, but having different, different desires. And this Kumbhakarana, six months sleeping, when he gets up, he has to eat only whatever is there, flesh and drink and this. He never bothers about what is going on, this thing. Give me and then again he sleeps. Oh, no. He never reach to the Lord at all. These three examples is the fit example for all the three's desire. Vivation, Kumbhaka, uh, Ravan and Kumbhakarana. These are there. So, these type of desires, 
they just cover and because of that uh, we at the time comes to do the good things immediately we our mind change everybody knows what is good what is bad what is right what is wrong everybody knows even uh, lord krishna asked to duryodhana you don't know what is wrong and what what is right he said i know very well but still i follow wrong only <laughs> do whatever you want so what to do now people are very clear about this right and wrong righteousness and unrighteousness good and bad but still they follow the bad because of the pressure of vp vasana pressure just create this dp desire pressure desire pressure create kp karma pressure it comes like that. and we are under pressure and under pressure nobody can be happy if the pressure is high your body cannot be at ease <laughs> it should be proper 130 80 <laughs> <laughs> otherwise you keep by taking medicines to in balance otherwise we can't the pressure who will be happy under the pressure so this is this these three types of so it is a very subjective where we are now nobody could say we have to just see ourselves where we are in the rajoguni desire satvaguni desire or tamoguni desire and from there we start our journey that is there this if we are at the lowest level then the karma yoga is our sadhana to get rid of if we are on rajoguna then the bhakti yoga is given and if we are now is this satva guna then the gyan yoga is that we have we can do meditation only when we are on that sattva the right difficult our mind cannot at peace during meditation time so this is the all three examples now <coughs> next in we have seen here idam and by which that two things here if they have not uh, lord mentioned clearly um, that what covers uh, by which pronounce is there it and the this the clearly not defined here now in the next stanza the lord will give the explanations uh, that what this desires and anger covers of what why it is they are the enemy number 1 could anyone anything can do without uh, having desire this is that's there so now in the next verse that what covers by of what by which that is the the pronounced two things that is now mentioning clearly and defining in the next verse number 39 ज्ञानम और दिस फैकल्टी ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इज नाउ एनवलप्ड बाय दिस टू थिंग्स देयरफॉर वन हु इज सीकिंग दिस सेल्फ नॉलेज ज्ञानिना है फॉर हिम इट इज नित्य वैरिना परपिचुअल दे आर द एनिमी दे आर द कांस्टेंट एनिमी इज दैट दैट इज दोस हु आर सीकिंग द रियलिटी द सेल्फ in their life other may entertain this type of for while but for the seeker of truth it is the enemy number 1 and in the form of kama rupena evakunti nandan 
a son of Kunti, it is the form of Kama, desire. Uh, and Dushpurena, Dushpurena means it cannot be satiated by fulfilling the desire. Can you just satiate the desire by fulfilling desire? It is not possible. If you fulfill one desire, ten desire is ready to, to be fulfilled. Because the law of associations, no, is just with just applying with them. One by one, one by one, one, one by one. So there is no end of fulfilling the desire. If somebody is asked how much money you want, how much money? There is an end? Limit? No limit. So it is multiplying uh, just again and again, again and again, again. Whole life now what we do, we just fulfilling one desire and so many desires they are unfulfilled. So we cannot enjoy the fulfill desire, fulfillment of desire. But always we are suffering that we have not fulfilled many desires. <laughs> Whatever we have, we are not able to enjoy. Whatever we don't have, we worry for that always. So where is the joy? Where is the joy? That is not there. Dush puran anena is that analena Analen means fire. Anal means fire. When you pour the melted butter or ghee into the fire, fire cannot subside. It just just more flame will come with more force. In the same way, the desire also there. You fulfill desire, again this, some other desires, this desire. There is ocean of desire. The, only the get rid of the desire is just to remove the cause of desire, which is the ignorance about our true natures. Because of that ignorance, we feel incompleteness in our life. Incompleteness, nobody will be happy. In order to make us complete, we just arrive, just create the desire and to fulfill the desire through the performing action. That is the circle. 